Once you've logged into Franklin Anywhere with your username and password, click here on Settings to access the Settings page. When the Settings page opens up, come over here to the Time Log area to access the various Time Log functions. There are three different functions, but we're only going to look at the Time Log itself since the Clock In and Clock Out functions have already been covered in the videos for the home page. Clicking on Time Log opens the following page. As with many of the other pages in Franklin Anywhere, there's a rather comprehensive filtering arrangement located here by which you can filter the information by various criteria. Today's date, January 28th, 2013, the date of the filming of this video, appears here at the top and when I scroll down you'll see previous dates listed. Coming back to the main time log page, you can see that I've signed in for three different activities. To the right of those activities are three icons, and I'll explain each of those icons in turn. Clicking on the first icon opens up the following screen. This pop-up allows us to open a new activity time log. Here we can enter the job activity, whether the action was suspended, the action is complete, the start date, start time, finish date, and finish time, then click on Save to save the record. Clicking on the second icon opens the following pop-up. In this pop-up, you can edit the company time log for a particular employee. You can change the information concerning the date and time of starting the shift and the date and time ending of the shift. Then click on Save to save the information. And finally, clicking on the third icon does the following. And here you have the option of completely deleting a record. Clicking on the arrowhead immediately to the left of an employee name will open up the hierarchy of events for that particular employee. Here you see that expanded hierarchy and you also see the three icons to the right of the activities. Now one activity only has two icons and that is because that activity is still ongoing. Here's how those icons work at this level of activity. Let's click on the first icon. This is the new subactivity time log pop-up and here you can change the subactivity and arrange for different start dates and times, end dates and times. Be sure to click save when you're done making your edits. Clicking on the second or pencil icon opens up the following screen. This opens up the edit activity time log pop-up and here you can edit the information for a particular activity. Always be sure to finish off with clicking on the Save button to save any changes made. And finally, clicking on the red X allows you to delete an activity log. Be sure to either confirm or cancel when the pop-up appears. For more information about Franklin Anywhere, please call our toll-free number, area code 800-346-7363.